Hello, my name is Phil Ellis and I am an application engineer in the Nexperia Automotive MOSFETs team based in Manchester. There are four main components to satisfy reverse battery protection. We have recovery rectifiers, shock key rectifiers, P-channel MOSFETs and N-channel MOSFETs. In today's demo, we will see each approach in action with a detailed look at how the devices deal with conduction losses within this application. In 12 volt automotive systems, there is a need to protect against incorrect battery connection. So for instance, uh, when a car is being serviced or repaired, the 12 volt battery might be connected the wrong way around. Although we're focusing on automotive applications, this applies equally to consumer and industrial applications as well. In this demo, we're going to review each approach that we mentioned earlier, and we're going to look at the load currents uh, that each device is able to carry. And we'll also look at the temperature rise using an infrared camera. The main form of loss in the reverse battery protection applications is due to conduction. In a diode, the conduction loss equals the forward voltage times by the current flowing through the diode. In the case of a MOSFET, the loss equals the current squared times by the RDS on. The power loss in each device will result in a temperature rise uh, within the device, which we need to limit for reasons of safety and reliability. Note also that the temperature rise will cause some device parameters to change, uh, and this may affect the loss that occurs in the device. So in this demo, we have a 50 amp power supply feeding the circuit here. So these are the inputs on this side. We have an electronic load, which is configured as four independent channels. So we have um, a, a big load here for the uh, N-channel MOSFET, and then we have another load for the P-channel MOSFET, and then a load each for the two diodes. In this application, the device is connected in the high side rail, and it can be connected in the low side rail in, in certain cases. In the first case, we're going to look at the PN junction rectifier here. Um, this is in a CFP5 package. It's rated at 200 volts and is presently conducting about just over one amp. It's got a voltage drop of about 0.75 volts and the power dissipation is about 0.8 of a watt. In the second application, we've got a Shockey rectifier, which is rated at 60 volts and 10 amps. It's in a CFP15 package. Uh, the voltage drop in this case is about 0.35 of a volt and the current is about 2.9 amps. Therefore, the total conduction loss in this case is about one watt. The third case is using a P-channel MOSFET, which we have here. This is um, a 40 volt device. It's got an RDS on of about 14 milliohms. And in this case, the conduction is about eight amps. The power dissipation will be about 0.8 watts in this case. With a P-channel device, you only need a very simple and inexpensive gate driver to operate the device. The fourth type and final type is an N-channel MOSFET. Again, this is a 40 volt rated device. It has a one milliohm RDS on and uh, it's in an LF pack 56 package again. In this case, it's conducting 28 amps, so significantly higher than in the P-channel case. However, the penalty for using the N-channel device is you need a more complex and costly gate driver. We're now gonna have a look at the temperature rise that we get in each case. So here we can see the image in the thermal camera. So you can see the outline of the board clearly and you can see the cables coming in on the right hand side of the picture. The PN rectifier is at the bottom. The next one up is the Schottky rectifier, uh, which is conducting a slightly higher current if you remember. And uh, this is also the same temperature. And then finally, we have the N-channel MOSFET at the top. In all cases, you can see the temperature rise is about the same, and it's about 30 degrees. The demo uses power MOSFETs and rectifiers from our AEC Q101 portfolio for automotive applications. The 40 volt power MOSFETs are housed in the LF-PAC 5x6 copper clip package. 
both of which are available from an ex extensive portfolio in N and P channel variants. These pass AEC Q101 testing by two times in key test parameters. The demo also contains rectifiers from our clip bonded flat power packages, the CFP5 and the CFP15. With decades of expertise in developing high performance package solutions, we can offer a range of thermally and electrically efficient packages to support the most demanding of applications. The unique copper clip construction of LF Pack and CFP provides excellent robustness and reliability, as well as space saving benefits when compared to more traditional alternatives. A tested device current rating makes the packages suitable for the most demanding of applications. Nexperia offers multiple automotive and industrial packages, giving you the ease of choice during the design process. Thanks for watching. For more information, go to nexperia.com.